Greetings, saints, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm Reverend Tando Utle Nzabugeloabu. This is Crossworks Online. I want to invite you in the comfort of your house to sit down during the days of lockdown. There is no lockdown in the house of God. The gospel must be preached. Brothers and sisters, please remember the tribe of Zebulon. They were traders, they were givers. Please bring your offering. Give on the account you see underneath your tithes and use your Momo mobile money. Use your e-wallet to give to your pastors through your pastors' numbers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord, we thank the Lord today that He has given us this moment to be before you all. The Lord is good all the time. The Lord is great. I want to invite you to come with me into a scripture that is familiar. Ephesians 1, 8. Hallelujah. Today I want to talk about the eyes of your understanding. Hallelujah. You know, for you to understand something, your heart needs to grasp something. Hallelujah. You need to have understanding. Your mind must be at a level of understanding. Hallelujah. So I want you to read with me when you are the Ephesians, I come again, Ephesians 1, verse 18. The apostle is writing. Let me read. Hallelujah. I hope everybody is there with me. The eyes of your understanding. Hallelujah. I pray that your eyes of your understanding may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope of his calling, praise Jesus, the riches of his glorious inheritance, hallelujah. So when we are reading the Bible, it talks about inheritance, talks about hope, talks about the eyes of your understanding. You know, when the Bible talks about inheritance in these glorious places, we are God's private collection. We are the children of God. We are what God has, hallelujah. When God wanted the vegetation to grow, he had to place man before man was. There was no rain. Hallelujah. So God wants man. You are God's private collection. Have this understanding. Hallelujah. For anything to happen, for anything to, to be extended. Hallelujah. For anything to come to a level where it will stop, God needs man. You are God's private collection. Hallelujah. So now God has inherited you. With God, you are everything. And without God, you are nothing. So remember, child of God. You are God's private collection. You are all what God has. For God to do anything, for God to manifest, for God to be seen, for God to be understood and tested, needs you as a child of God. Praise be to Jesus. Hallelujah. On this 21st century, I want your eyes of your understanding to understand where we are standing at the Church of Jesus Christ. I want you to understand where we are at this moment. The Bible says, the sons of Issachar were the sons who understood time. This is a long time ago in the Old Testament where the Bible says the tribe of Israel had 10, 12 tribes. And among the tribes, I want to go into three tribes. The first one is the tribe of Judah. The tribe of Judah stand for praise. Whenever there was praise, whenever the children of Israel were moving to the next dispensation, whenever God was calling them for some assignment, they needed the tribe of Judah to stand up front. Hallelujah. The second tribe is the one I'm talking about, the tribe of Issachar. This tribe was always needed when, 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 when the leader of that time wanted to know where God was taking them because they could understand time. Praise be to Jesus. We have children of God who doesn't understand what time is it. These are the last days. I remember a song that says, these are the last days, the days of Elijah. Hallelujah. These are the last days where God has said, these period times will come, and when they come, they must find the house of God ready. The last, the last one among the tribe is the, is the tribe of Zebulon. The tribe of Zebulon, they were the financiers. Wow. Hey, I wonder what assignment we are called to do. You are part of the tribe of Israel. You are a house of God. Without you, the gospel cannot transcend. Do you belong to the tribe of Zebulon, the traders, the financiers that finance the work of God. 
We need you at this, at this time. These are the prayer times where we need people who will come in and fit in the kingdom of God. Let's go back to the tribe of Issachar, the children of Issachar who understood time chronolog chronologically. Hallelujah. The Bible talks about two types of time. It says there's chronos time. You know, chronos time is the time where is the moment, the opportune time. This is the opportune time for the gospel of Jesus Christ to fly over the world. This is the time where we must get digital. Hallelujah. The, the, the Bible must be preached throughout the whole world. The Bible says, the Great Commission says, Go ye into the whole the world. Teach people to be my disciples. This is the moment where we are not closed into one area, where we are not locked into churches, but we are called out. Praise be to Jesus. Hallelujah. It's time, brothers, we go out and preach the gospel. Hallelujah. It's time we, we reach the world. It's time we fly away. We need the tribe of Zebulon to finance the ministry. Praise be to Jesus. Hallelujah. I, I, I believe where you are in your house, you are now gathering this information. And you, it's, 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 it's the time where you decide as a family that we are joining the tribe of Zebulon, where we, we shall be traders and finance the ministry. Hallelujah. Then the praises are there to worship. Praise to Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us go back to the scripture. The scripture says, let your eyes, your spiritual eyes, be enlightened. Hallelujah. You know, when we talk about the spiritual eyes being be enlightened, we talk about where the Spirit of God touches your inner being. The Bible says in the last days, He shall pour His Spirit upon all flesh. Young men shall see visions. Hallelujah. You, you know, where the Spirit of God ignites you, where you begin to see who you are in the faith. Hallelujah. And you rise up, you take your position. Praise be to Jesus. These are the moment where as a child of God, you rise up, you take, you cover, you stand at a corner where you'll be able to stand for the gospel of Jesus Christ. These are the times where the Bible speaks about. Second Timothy, the Bible speaks about that, you, 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 you know, Paul is speaking to Timothy. He's telling him that there are times that are coming, times of criticality. One preacher says, <laughs> it is not critical, but it's the moment in every dispensation. This moment where people are in fear, we need to resurrect faith within us, hallelujah. Because faith is the hand which we receive. We work through faith. We do things through faith, hallelujah. Now faith is the evidence of things not seen, hallelujah. We haven't seen what we're gonna be, hallelujah. And we need sons of God who've got the heart like that of Issachar's children, who can read in the moment. This is the 21st century, where we are standing today. Be vigilant, hallelujah. I want to get into this sermon, but I'm saying to you, be vigilant. Check in your heart what God has laid. Hallelujah. The superpower is grumbling in between. Hallelujah. The world are confusing. Hallelujah. The, the, those that are carrying money, those that are the house of Zebron, they've gone astray. They're taking the resources that they have. They're confusing the world. And the children of God must rise up in their strength, in their power. Praise be to Jesus. Hallelujah. I've called upon the worshippers to rise up the house of Judah, the tribe of Judah, to rise up. Use the eyes of your understanding to see what time is it. This is the time where God has trusted you. This is the time where God is looking unto you to rise up and stand for the gospel of Jesus Christ. I want to end now. Hallelujah. But before I end, the Bible talks about in the same scripture, hope of his calling. God has called you for you to be a child of God, there's a mission or there's an assignment that is aligned just for you. What is it exactly that you do in the house of God? What is it exactly that you do as being a part of this kingdom? You know, if, 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 if well, all is said and done, you come before God and ask you, why must I allow you to enter into my heaven? What will you say? Because I'm born again. Because I'm a worshiper. Because I've been to church. One reason, I want you to go back to your closet and check yourself. At this time, as a believer that has lived, to see the move and the shift. You know, the, the evil one came to steal the joy. The evil one is coming slowly. He is killing what God has planted. He is killing the gospel of Jesus Christ. He wants to destroy everything. But we are alive. We are a child of God. What is it that you do? What is it that you are called? What is your assignment? 
I want to encamp. I want to encourage you. I pray that the power of the Lord Jesus may ignite you and resurrect you in your slumber and wake you up. Hallelujah. And remember who you are in the kingdom of God. You know, the kingdom of God is made out of a body. You're part of your body. Without you, we can't do much things. Hallelujah. Without you, the gospel cannot gather its strength. You are needed in, the, in, in this gospel. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, I want to pray with you as I'm ending. These are the last days. You've got to be vigilant. You've got to be strengthened. You don't have to go at a scatter. You don't have to, to be like a nomadic who doesn't know what God has said. This is the opportune moment for the gospel to be spread. Hallelujah. It's a revival. It's not a revival of a house, 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 or a tent revival. But it's a revival that is digital. Hallelujah. We all have to rise up in one power. Let us pray with you. I believe you know the Lord as a Lord and Savior. I believe you are a child of God. You've made a decision in your heart. I believe you don't know the Lord through the head knowledge, but you know him in your heart. You have an encounter with him. You know, when such moments come, you remember what God has done in your life. You remember an instant where you've received him as your Lord and Savior. You've had an encounter with him. When you have an encounter with God, he will always remember you. As I'm ending and about to pray, there was time where God went out to destroy Gomorrah and Sodom. While he was passing Abraham, he remembered that among this nation, there is Abraham. I cannot pass the house of Abraham without letting him know what is going to happen. God at this moment will tell you. God at this moment will cover you. God will protect you because you have a relationship with him, with him, a close, intimate. God said, I didn't Abraham. I have a close relationship with him. I have more than a relationship, a fellowship with him. It's my prayer today that the Lord God of heaven must have a fellowship with you. So that whenever God is about to do something, you might be ahead like the sons of Issachar, that you may understand times and not shiver and not go helter scatter like everybody. People are going to the north. People are going to the south looking for the truth. The truth is right, right in the word of God, right in your bosom. The truth is in you. Revive your relationship. Revive your spirit with God. Once you do that, nothing shall surpass you. Heavens, and, heavens will remember you. You shall not be lost. Praise be to Jesus. You shall not be lost. You shall not die. You shall live to tell the oracles of God. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, these are your people, my God. Father, I commission your word. I commission your spirit, Lord. I commission your anointing, my Father. You said, our Father, you shall be with us. You shall not leave us, Father. What Jesus has started in our life, he shall see to it that it takes us up to the day of Jesus Christ, Father. Your day has come. Your moment has come, Lord God Almighty. We commission your angels, Father, to be on guard 24-7. Let your people be protected, Father. Let them be covered, Lord. There shall be no pestilence. There shall be no sickness. There shall be no devour that will crush them, Lord. We speak life. We speak coverage. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Thank you very much for sitting with me, listening to the word of God in your comfort of your house. I believe that the word of God empowered you. I hope you are never the same. This is a month Family month, restoration month. This is a month where you are restored as a family. I want to speak to some of you. Maybe you are the eldest in your family. You have lost your parents. You are watching after your siblings. You are the head of the family. Maybe in your life there are things which were taken. In your heart, in your spirit, things were lost. God has come to restore your life. Maybe you're a single person, you started out like everybody into a family relationship. Maybe your partner hurt you. Things were destroyed. The Bible says the devil come for three things in your life. To steal trust, to steal love, to steal security. Kill love, kill purpose. Now you're never the same. 
Now everything that you started with your partner has been destroyed. What the locusts has devoured, what the pestilence have taken, God, Lord in heaven, can restore it. I want to pray with you. Now maybe you don't believe that there is new love. You don't believe in unity. You don't believe in oneness. God can bring down, bring back what has been lost. I want to pray with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Come with me, gather your family, as we pray together. Father, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, with my brother, I pray, Father, with my sister. Whatever has been lost, we speak restoration. We bring back, we impart life. We bring back what has been stolen. We bring back unity. We bring back strength. We bring back love. We bring back what has been taken. In the mighty name of Jesus, be restored. Be strengthened. Be empowered. Be beat back together. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your finances come back. Let your love life come back. Be restored socially. Be restored economically. Be restored mentally. Whatever has been difficult, let it flow. Whatever mountains that are before you, let them be leveled. Whatever donga or valley, let it be uplifted. I speak the favor of God. I speak empowerment. I speak greatness. Be blessed of God. God bless you. Amen.